Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Another episode of Underminer coming at you. I said the Underminer last time because I got incredible stuck in my head, but Underminer. Uh, we're doing pretty nice. It's a nice little chill mining game, right? Uh, level 5 everything across the board. I've opted for the high capacity battery, which gives us more fuel, more fuel efficiency at a reduced max speed. I unequipped it so you can see the stats. Um. Oh yeah, mixture alpha. Wait. No, un unequip. Okay. I could equip both of these and we'd be net positive. Interesting. Okay. Um, I want uh, alpha for maximum fuel. And... I want the high capacity battery for better efficiency. That makes that makes sense to me. Uh, I'm fine with that. I'm cool with all that. All right. Anything we want in the shop? Guide to mining. Drill lubricant. Small container. Older engine equipment. Gives a small bonus to fuel it. Why does older engine equipment? I. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm done asking questions, it's fine. Um, let's see here. Item usage guides, item efficiency. I don't think I see anything else I'm really looking for, so I'm just gonna say... Skippity-boo. We're heading to the glacier area. Wherever that is. Um, if I know anything about Blaster Master, there's... What is it? The forest? Then it's the... Crap, what is it? The forest, the fortress, the factory, the swamp, or the sewers? Then it's the ocean, then it's the frost area, the lava area, the end area. <laughs> they all have proper names, at least from Blaster Master Zero, which I played that trilogy, and that trilogy was a lot of fun. Yeah, very cool. Bit of a Metroidvania-ish. I enjoyed it. Good stuff. Oh yeah, I'm just going straight down. There's quite literally no reason for me to mess with any of this. Uh, can I? Hold on. Can't obtain more. Okay, cool. That's all I wanted to know. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna push my way through all this. Yep. Alright, uh, skeedly boo. And then this curves back down eventually. It sure does. Awesome stuff. On brand. Perfect. Cool. So, Underminer is a game that is free on Steam. Uh, feel free to check it out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoy these kinds of chill games in between... Uh, Factorio and Captain of Industry and all the other games I mentioned before that I'm I'm in the middle of. Um, what's another one? Oh, I'm playing. I'm not recording this one, but I'm playing a Death World marathon of Factorio before version two drops or whatever the heck they're calling it. And oh my god, it makes me cry. Um, I don't care about the biters. I don't care about their expansion. I don't care about anything. The thing I care about is steel costs twice as much. Uh it's so it's so expensive. It's so much iron to make defenses, aka AP rounds. It's so bad. That's the hardest part of the whole thing, honestly. Uh, I also need steel for engines, for technology and stuff. And it just it's not cool man it's not cool it's a lot of it's a lot of <laughs> blue rocks how you doing you having a good game you enjoying factorio yeah um noticing this a very staggering lack of blue rocks how's that going well i have three million iron ore in storage yeah that's cute you think that's enough <laughs> that's not it's not farts man Anyway, yeah, so in between this, a game like this, 
I'm, I'm really digging it, honestly. I need a break from that. <laughs> uh, I'm making some really good progress with it. I'm up to all of red, green, blue, black. All that technology is done. So there's no more of that I can do. I gotta start cracking on in either purple or yellow uh, technology before I can progress any further. So yeah, it's going good. Side note, I kind of figure once you get artillery uh, and you can seal off a couple of choke points, it kind of gets a little back to basics and it's like, man, I just need to ramp up my rail game. Uh, big deal. But I did want to have one last real hurrah before the next version of Factorio came out. So that's why that is a thing. Oop, click that. Yep, okay, so I can grab another fuel. Oop. I mean, this game is simple and it works, right? Don't mess with the formula if it works. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's giving me a nice little break, like I said. It's it's scratching an itch that I didn't know I needed to scratch. Uh, I don't need anything... F oh, what is... Is this diamonds? Glacier area. Antarcticite. That's a cool name for a mineral found in Antarctica. Antarcticite? I like that. And what do we got? Uh, not too far away. I'm just gonna beeline for it. Because I don't have enough carry capacity to do too much work here, I don't think. Maybe I do? I, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know how quickly this was eating up my reserves. Well, there's a freaking And there's a missile here. You guys are really defeating the purpose of me trying to save up for missiles if you're just going to provide a missile. And the cats are awake. Overloaded containers increase maximum inventory weight but reduces fuel efficiency. Well... That seems like a problem. Katooj! Badooj! Uh, I'm just gonna... Skeeter... No, actually, I'm gonna hit this up. Oh, can't detain more. Okay, that's fine. How... Your girlfriend can't be back here, right? Like, how? How... How? Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Large containers. Move speed slightly reduced, but max weight is increased. A torn sheet. Increase the effectiveness of items, but reduces durability. Interesting name for an item. I'm gonna hit this up, so I can grab this fuel. And another drill. Oh, I mean, okay. If you, if you wish, I will take... I'm about to be so rich. Nice! Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably tap. Yeah, let's do it. Let's tap out. I got a lot of Antarcticite, which is not a special resource. It is just money. It is quite a bit of coin. 53,000. Good lord. Good lord and a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay. Burn sheet increases item efficiency and mining efficiency. Okay. What else do we got? Weight limit plus three, max speed minus one. Uh... Okay, so here's another thing, right? Minus one weight limit plus one max speed. So, I'm losing a weight limit. Oh, wait. Wait. Max speed plus one? Wait, I forgot. Okay, max speed plus one. So, this is taking away that max speed, but I'm getting three weight limit. 
Whereas this removed one weight. So I'm getting two free weight limit here. Yeah, simple math. I like it. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. Level it up. Drill attack mining efficiency. Do it. I was really... Ho oh, I need diamonds or whatever legit. Okay. Uh, I'm literally 700 monies off. Boo. Oh, I'll get more max speed anyway. Oh, the prices were different. All right, never mind. Uh, I did some bad mental math because my mental is bad. So, um, is there anything for the drills? Oh, crap. I double clicked. Uh, leave it to old J Megs to click a little too often. Ruining everything. I mentioned this might be like a good morning game. I'm finding this to be an even better, like, wind down nighttime game. Uh, it's 9 o'clock p.m. right now. In about an hour, hour and a half, I should be in bed. And this is cool. This is... I'm still gaming. Like, I'm still playing games. And this is a nice wind down kind of a thing. I'm enjoying it. I like to, I like to branch out a little bit. There's a lot of indie games. I'll reach out to anyone who's, like, working on an indie game, and I'll, like, join the Discord, and I'll be like, Hey, just throwing it out there. If you need someone to, like, really do some testing testing, let me know. Uh, I can take notes. Uh, there's a couple of teams, like, I really got into it and did a lot of really good testing. I had a spreadsheet, and I had tickets resolved and put in my name. It was really dope. There's a couple of change logs. Gosh, there's been there's been a lot. Like little one-offs. And even bigger like games that became bigger titles where it's just like, oh yeah, I found a bug, here you go. And it's like, okay, we'll fix it next version. It's like, yeah, it's, that's cool. I like to support gamers. People that play games and design games and make games, like whatever. It's just it's cool. I like it. It's always really fun to also see the creative process, right? When someone's sitting down, and I, what I really love helping with is balancing. Balancing is a lot of fun. No joke, a lot of fun. Um, it can be really frustrating. Not, not like, doing it, but like, um, there's a lot of ways to balance something, right? Um, you can balance something, imagine like a scale, right? Literally a, a scale. You can either... Uh, the one that looks like the Libra symbol, right? That's the one I'm referring to. Uh, you can either remove weight from one side, or you can add weight to the other, right? Now, doing either can greatly affect the net amount of weight on the scale. A very simple thing to say, right? But same thing with video games. Um, what's a really good example? What's a, what's a good example of that? I've been talking about Factorio a little bit. Let's just keep talking that discussion, right? Uh, the biters are too hard. That's the problem. Let's say. Um, you could make the biters not as difficult by reducing their armor, making them easier to kill, right? That's one way you could alleviate that. Or you can make the player's ammunition stronger. You can make it easier for military research to happen. Um, turrets could be more effective, ammunition could be more effective against biters or whatever. And so you have the same problem. Biters are too powerful, and you're alleviating it in one of two general ways, right? There's other ways you could you can modify that as well that aren't or that might be a lot more granular, like, oh, let's just hamper their expansion. Don't let them expand as often. Um, make it take longer for them to mature and level up. So they can't get to behemoths as fast, or whatever. Like, you can... There's a lot you can really do about it, but it's that balancing that conversation that I find a lot of fun. Because no matter what, when you have multiple people looking at the same problem, it's going to be a different perspective and a different answer. I bet you there's a thing at the end of this coil. This mosquito coil thing. Call it a hunch. Um... And that's what I really, I really enjoy. I enjoy the conversation. I enjoy the problem solving. 
where there might not be a clear, solid answer. There might be a little bit of finagling that has to get done, right? So it's kind of cool when you can have that kind of conversation and be like, Oh, okay. Hello, girlfriend of Jimmy. God, your face looks terrifying. I'm Noah. Jimmy sent me here to deliver this letter to MJ. Oh, I'm MJ. Could you please hand me that letter? There you are. Hand over the letter MJ. Jimmy is safe. Thank you so much for deliver- I could have told you he was safe. If it's not too much trouble, can you please pass my letter to Jim- What? Since I'm on my way back anyway, I truly owe you for being the dove of love. Thank you so much, dove. I mean, angel. I am so confused. Oh well, moving on. Um, do I have enough energy to make it all the way back to Jimmy? In one shot? Let's do it, then we can just continue our conversation a little bit. Um, there's other ways to solve the problem further that might not be as clear-cut as affecting either the biters or how you interact with the biters, right? Let's take another example of modifying how the player interacts with resources in general. How about making iron more abundant? Iron is a core component for any amount of defenses in the early game, making turrets, firearm ammunition, and then also armor-piercing rounds. Oh, I'm on the other side of this. Oh, this looks familiar. Um, modifying how iron, how the player operates with iron, a very generic resource like that, might make a lot of sense, but it'll also unbalance other things that you want to be difficult, like steel manufacture. Uh, steel just requires iron to make. You just, there you go, there's steel. Um, so that can offset a couple things. So that balancing, I feel, is a lot of fun to talk about when it comes to games and game testing and game development. And how one little push on one thing can severely knock the balance out of commission. I'm going to see if there's anything down here. Oh, there's a whole other biome down here. Hornblit Stratum. Hornblend? Okay, that's it. Sapphire is not a specialty product. It is worth money. Ooh, what do we get? But um, new record. Nice. Oh, Jimmy, I have a gift for you. Did I not need to take it to Jimmy? Jimmy made it back? This is MJ's letter, thank God. In return, I'll tell you about the legendary mineral. Legend is it diamond? Are you gonna tell me about diamond? Or is it the horn swoggle I just got? Sapphire. Or it's a very expensive mineral because it's shiny, has mysterious powers. You can find out more by visiting Dr. Charles. Who the hell is Dr. Charles? Oh, okay. Dr. Charles lives down the road from MJ? Huh? <laughs> I'm so I'm so confused. It's fine. Okay, I can't level that up because diamond. I can level this up. Can I do the engine first? No, because I need diamond. Okay. There's a body level up. Uh, diamond. Okay. I have plenty, literally plenty of everything else. I just don't have any diamond. Um, okay, what about the shop? I think I have three missiles already? Buy a missile. Uh, module. Okay, what goes in the drill? Durability. Mining efficiency. Let's do it. Yep, drill size or bust. I have a lot of coin. So, alright, let's... Oh, so I don't have to talk to Jimmy Jimmy. So we're just gonna go straight down and talk to Dr. Charles, I guess. Um, I have not played around on the right side of the screen very much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deviate here. I don't think I got very much farther after we got to the Cinnabar... And emerald for the first time. I don't think I spent a ton of time with uh, after that, so we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, okay. I can't just uh, hold down and it's gonna auto path for me. Nope, not gonna happen. 
Alright, so now we're in the dark chocolate layer. Or the cocoa, the quaqua layer. I don't know how to pronounce any of that. We're in the quaqua layer. Quaqua. Yes, I'm tired. Thank you for noticing. Um, Alright, so this is that cinnabar layer, right? We're just gonna bulldoze through all this. You have no toots and no shoots. Alright, we gotta go a little to the left. A little to the left. A l okay. Um, I don't really need emerald, so I just want to keep it mostly to the right still. Some gold! Yeah, get all that shiz. And then back to the iron. We have 300 kilogram holding capacity. I'm not super worried anymore about like, oh man, I don't want to fill up on copper. It's going to spoil my dinner or whatever. I'm not super worried about that. Drill, 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 drill. I'm gonna double back to the right. After a small detour. Okay, I just wanna make sure we have total coverage. Okay, yep, good stuff. Just cutting through this easy street, yeah? I got a bunch of fuel upgrades. Or fuel canisters I can use anytime I want. Yeah, we're looking we're looking real good. Just gonna cut through this. Not seeing any more uh blueprint pirate map things. Halfway on our capacity, and we have more than half of our fuel. I'm pretty happy about that. And here's our uh, Antarctosite. I already forgot the name of it. <laughs> Sad. Okay, I'm going to back up and double check on this right side a little more. Okay, I'm confident we've hugged this right side to death. Antarctic Antarcitite Antarcitite Antar I'm not gonna read that anymore. <laughs> My brain just shut down. Oh, that means I mispronounced it before. Yeah, that's fine. If someone's gonna correct my pronunciation at this juncture, uh please do. Uh, but I'm an old man, so I'm not gonna remember any of this crap, but I apologize. My pronunciation's bad. My learning skills ain't that good no more. Okay. Dude, we're gonna be fat stacks. And the problem is, I don't need money anymore. Okay, so hi, MJ. And there's a missile here, ka-chunk. I'm gonna grab this missile here. Oh, I'm actually full on capacity. Oh, I already blasted a hole through this thing? Oh no, okay. <laughs> I almost had a meltdown. Not really, but <laughs> it's like I wasted a missile for nothing. That's what they call me Johnny Wasting Missiles. Because I keep wasting missiles. Diamonds. 
So I don't get it. Do we take their ability damage or something if I just keep can I just keep going? How much diamond do I have? 21? That's perfect. That's enough for one or two upgrades. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, um, my drill's too big. Okay. The game doesn't like me playing any further because of my weight. That's fine. 71,000. Good loud and a lot of money. Nice. Alright, sorry Dr. Charles. We will get you the next time. What's more important is leveling up my shiz. Yep. And drill size upgrade. Yep. And maximum rank. Okay. Cool. Fine. Fair. It's fine. Uh, maximum fuel, more fuel efficiency, amazing. More weight limit, more item efficiency, more durability, amazing. And I burned through all my cash. But we done did good, kid. We done did good, kid. Okay. Uh, riggedy roll. Yeah, it is. I mean, just re-roll it, right? There's nothing really else for me to do. Looks like we're making bigger smoke screens behind us, maybe? I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, we checked the entire right side. There might be some more in the frost zone on the left side. I don't think I really explored that fully, so I wouldn't mind taking another swing at it. Um, otherwise, I'd like to just go straight down, talk to Dr. Charles. Charles? Char Charles? There's no other way to pronounce that. It's just Charles, right? Talk to Agent Vivaldi? I don't know. And, uh, yeah, just continue that there quest line. Speaking of balance, the game plays well. There's nothing really that's glaringly like, oh man, if you change this one thing, way better. Like, there's nothing like that I can tell. Um, this is a mining game. We go down, we come up. It's real, it's real straightforward, yeah? And you want the player to have to go down several times to get everything. Uh, that's the name of the game. So it works for me. Uh, I'm gonna cut a little to the left here. Oh, it's like butter. Yeah, brilliant. And just sawmering through some of this. Okay, and we're right back to where we were. Okay, cool. That makes that easy. Now what'll happen is this will open up. Pretty soon it'll open up to the left and that's where I wanna go. We're gonna double back some of our old path and that's fine. I just wanna get, I wanna get everything. I'm gonna try to skip this stuff. Uh, do I have room for another fuel? Uh, I'm actually just gonna grab this. I don't anticipate me coming back here. I wasn't sure how this was going to get laid out, so I was like, you know what, I might I might save that for the next time I come back, but realistically... Um, yeah, so this is going to lead us to... Whoop, uh, realistically, I don't think this is a route I'm ever going to take again. Because we've already come across this from the right side, right? Yeah, perfect. Uh, I would use my missiles, but I'd rather save them a missiles. Senile mobile missile. If we're talking about atomics, it would be fissile, right? Fissile material? I'm probably not pronouncing that right either, now that I think about it. Senile mobile fissile. That's what you call an atomic powered little scooter for an individual who's mobility challenged. 
My old call sign used to be logical, tactical, practical, when all I played was RTSs, but now I play so much other stuff, and I'm getting older, so I'm neither of those things anymore. I'm, I'm none of those things. I play games because I like to have fun. I play games with or without guns. My name's John, and I measure stuff in tons. I don't know where I'm going with any of this, and that's okay. <laughs> I like to be singy-songy once in a while. It doesn't always work, but sometimes I can drop a banger. I can just like drop a sweet beat and it works out pretty well. And then other times it's just, I might as well be like... And... What was that? Oh, that was my new hit single. What's it called? Oh, oh hold on. It's called... <laughs> you get the idea. Alright, and we're back to this layer. Okay, so I feel like we covered as much of that other stuff as I wanted to. Um, this Oh, this is where we stopped, right? So I'm just going to keep going on this layer. Sapphire, heck yes. So this is where we're going to be taking a wee bit of durability damage. And I got two repair kits, so I'm not super worried. What I'm anticipating is we're going to be maxed out of cargo space before that even becomes a problem. Oh, look at that! Another missile! Another impenetrable wall. Guess what, Kathunk? Oh, I'm gonna have all the money. Unfortunately, I need diamonds, but I'm gonna have all the money. This kind of looks like this is a specific path for a different quest, maybe? Oh, well, oh, we're done here. Boop. Uh, 118k? Awesome. 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 Uh, there's no other upgrades I can do, right? Yeah, max rank. And diamond and diamond, right? Yep, okay. Uh, there's... Can I upgrade items or anything? Oh, I can buy... Uh, buy a missile... Buy a missile, sure. Um, do I buy all this stuff here? That's what, six sixty k Cool. I bought the shop. Um, yep, okay. Legendary mineral. Okay, let's just get at it. I have purchased all the things. And I think I've checked all my boxes. I think I've checked everywhere that I wanted to check in extra. Uh, I'm sure there's some items we're going to find eventually or whatever will be gifted items or whatever. But I'm pretty happy with what we got. So this is going to be a fairly straight shot down. That's it. Good time for me to do a little stretching while this happens. Drink a little water while this happens. This is maybe where speed would be much more important in actual capacity, not so much, right? Still, even with all the natural upgrades we're doing, I haven't changed the rig via equipments at all. This has just been, it's been fine. Yeah. This takes, what, a minute to get down to this layer or something? That's nothing. Later, iron. All right, there's the shale stratum. Holy crap, that zooms. Eh, why not? You know what? I'm worth it. I got two gas cans on me. I can easily buy more. I'm worth it. Oh, all right, here we go. Here. 
Zoom, zoom. Oop. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take this path. Question mark. My maze diving through this at this rate doesn't incur additional drill durability damage. But what do I know? Okay, there's MJ. Um, part of me wants to pick up some materials. It doesn't weigh much. Like, how much was this already? 22, 23? Yeah, perfect. Whoop. Looked like I was actually drilling through that impenetrable stuff. Um, yeah, this is a Yeah, okay. So there are a couple of pockets we have not discovered yet, and that's totally fine. I'm not looking for, like, a 100% completionist, but if I can spend a couple of seconds and just dig around a little bit, maybe I can find something that would really help. Like, all these materials here, I'm gonna probably need them for upgrades and such eventually anyway, so why not? Cinnabar is just money, so I'm not interested. I wonder if there's an item between those two chunks of Cinnabar, though. I'm gonna find out. It's silly because Cinnabar does fuel damage and not durability damage, so it's weird that there's a durability drill there, but whatever. Items is items, yo. Items is items, yo. How much emerald am I walking out of here? 48? That ain't enough. We'll just tap this real quick while we're here. Yes sir, yes ma'am. Yes sir. Yes ma'am. Okay, I am satisfied. And another missile. Cool, 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 cool. And diamond is what I really want. Good pick, good pick. Ten diamonds, nice. Yep, good stuff. Snag a leg the rest of that. One or two more. Okay, alright. Is that a big old big big pile of diamonds? It isn't. It is. Badoosh. Up, oh, I think I see where the doctor be at. And another missile. <laughs> this game is weird. Uh, I don't I don't know if it wants me to be more conservative with the missiles or whatever be like yeah just be a little be a little careful with it uh, but the way the game is currently situated it wants me to just sprinkle sprinkle missiles everywhere and I'm super cool with that I'm super cool with that okay that's been quite a bit of diamond <laughs> this looks like another okay. My gaming intuition told me there might be an item in there. That's why I wanted to check. Uh, I still got one more missile, which I don't really plan on using. What's your favorite way to mine? Missiles, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, the tried and true. Uh, any sort of ballistics, really, in a pinch. What do you got, hand grenades? I can mine with that. TNT? I could definitely dine with it. mine with that. Just got straight up nitroglycerin. I can hella mine with that. What do you got? Mentos and a two liter? We could probably figure out how to mine with that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Alright. Oh! Oh god, I went too far. What is this? Down the road, huh? Dr. Charles, may I inquire about your identity? Nope, you suck. No. <laughs> I'm Noah, and I came here to discover the legendary... Enough, help me, and I'll tell you about the legendary material. Mineral, okay. <laughs> the device below is a teleportation device. It's my masterpiece for traveling long distances underground. But, I haven't been able to accomplish it yet due to a shortage of crucial ingredients. Tell me it's just money you need, and I'll hook you up. Ten emeralds, rubies, and diamonds. I have that. Then let me assist you in locating the legendary mineral. I'm on it. 
Here I go. The legendary mineral. Rank up. Hey, you've done some mining, haven't you? You're not going to believe this, but I have. Finally, the historic moment when my masterpiece is complete. I've been waiting for this moment. You've been waiting eight seconds since you've told me, but okay. I'll specially allow you to use the teleportation device. Thanks to you, I finished it. Then, as promised, I'll tell you about the legendary mineral. The legendary mineral emits a green aura and releases infinite energy. Wow, is it uranium? <laughs> Where is this legendary mineral? Go to the lava area. I lost my radio there. Great, let's find the radio in the lava area. So hold on, just so I can understand the lore. It was easier to make a teleportation device to teleport, but it was difficult to make a radar. They're just sneaking here. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be, like, uh, I can interact with stuff. Okay, well, I fixed your thing. Good to be friends or whatever. And here's how this is going to play out. Yep. Can I... I'm just going to buy more drills, or more missiles or whatever, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm about to wrap this up, this run, uh, because now that I've gotten a fair amount of diamond, there's leveling up I'd like to do. And we're getting kind of close to having capacity anyway, being at capacity. Audacity, talk to me about capacity. Oh, alright, drill him up, drill him up, drill him up. And we're gonna grab this emerald. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna make any money. We're not. We're not gonna make much. That's for sure. Oh, there's probably some cinnabar we've tippity tapped. Oh, come on, you got this. Okay, good enough. Uh, yeah, we've made a little bit of coin. Uh, how much diamond? 123, nice! Oh, it's here now. Okay, cool. Uh, now that we leveled up... Drill size plus three? Whoa, what? Dude, this looks like it's from, um... Oh, what was that game called? Tyrian? It was, uh... Think of Galaga, or Galaxian, or whatever, but on absolute crank. That was... that was Tyrian. I'm probably mispronouncing it. But the game was like like that. It was like a... it was like, um... There were so many games at the time, I think it was Epic Games? Back when it was Epic Mega Games, way, way back in the day. Gosh, I don't remember who did it. But there was a lot of really great games. It was Tyrian, it was Raptor. There were a lot of really great, you're a ship, you just slowly scroll up and you customize the ship or whatever. This looks like one of the ships. Yeah. Oh man, good times, good times. More durability, more weight limit. I can't level that one. I can level that one. Uh, do I get more slots? I do, nice, okay. More durability. Ugh, that item is so gross. Uh, yeah. More mining efficiency. I could take a durability hit. That works for me. Uh, the shop. Not enough money and minerals? Oh, no. Oh, I can hold five, though. That's cool. Alright, teleport. Does it take me to the thing, I hope? <gasps> awesome. Oh, man. I got a big boy drill. Okay, this saves me a disgusting amount of time. Um, I don't have any missiles. I ran out of the one thing I've been making fun of this whole time. What is this? Is this an item? 
Increase efficiency of fuel and items. Interesting. Well, money is going to be nil an issue pretty freaking fast. And I still need to go back to the left and rediscover that path. Unless that ties into this? Which I wouldn't mind to find out right about now. I'm trying to minimize how many routes are bifurcating. And they're going to. Um, but I want to make sure that as they do, I explore them and like, okay, we're done with that path. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh yeah, we're going to be fat stack for cash when this sapphire hits the bank. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. This has to link up to that other path, right? I'm feeling like it has to, but it doesn't has to. Uh, the thing with mining games like this is it's difficult to figure out landmarks, maybe? Um, I don't have a, a I, I have the mini map ish on the upper right, which is more just like a generic radar. But I don't have like any mapping tools. I I'm I am not a cartographer. I don't have anything other than like oh pickups. Sorry. Um, if there's anything I've come across in the past, then it's like oh yeah I remember this. But right now I don't really have any. I'm still going up. I'm, ex I'm kind of expecting to find that one path, but that might have been a secret treasure room because it needed a missile to unlock. Okay, now we're getting to the frost zone. Oh, uh... There you are. This is going to be so bank. We're going to have so much money. I wonder if this path is the one I was following before and that's what led down. Yep. Yep, this is it. Awesome. I'm going to grab this because I need it now. Cool, that, this is actually really what I was hoping for. And just awesome. Unfortunately, it kind of feels like I'm not going to make too much distance out of this. Huh. Okay. If you insist. Ah. Man, alright. I got greedy, but I got the money. So how much did that set us? 180k, okay. I'm cool with that for sure. And we've already dug most of the path. Um, Bill attack, mining efficiency. Uh, Yeah, if I got the scratch, maximum, okay. Level 8, level 7. Let's get you to level 8. There we go. Okay, uh, yeah, hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I've already got the path. Uh, it was... Nope. Nope, it was down. Rubbish. Oh, I forgot to buy missiles! Ah, rubbish! I am bad at video games. And look, I've never once said I was good at them. I said I enjoy video games. I like playing them. I like talking, if you haven't noticed. I like to think of myself as a little bit of a showman, maybe. Individual that likes to show things. Hey, look at this. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Showed you. Like, that. <laughs> that's it. Oh, uh, this is a lot quicker than I thought this was going to be. Alright, sweet. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher or a psychologist. 
something that I could be social and help people. Um, I never, I never went to college to be a psychologist, and becoming a teacher sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, where I live, teachers are criminally underpaid and underrepresented, so it doesn't sound like a fun deal. Oops, that was the wrong item. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to double back slightly here. Because was that... Was that little mini area we went through not necessary and it was just for some money? Oh, I wish I had a missile right about now. I'm just gonna go, like, up and see if this just connects. I just want to very much understand if that path was mandatory or not. That's that's it. It was not mandatory. Okay, so it was a fun little side room with missiles. And now what I want to do is I want to kind of hug this wall and make sure there's not any blueprints for items. I really don't think there is. Okay. Uh, I'm actually willing to just teleport back, call this one a done run. Uh, because I did figure out some stuff. But... Do I have repair kits? I do. What's a here? Amethyst. Nice. Boom. Oh. Um... Oh yeah, okay, so when it's heavier, it it doesn't stop me from moving, it just makes moving incredibly painful. Okay, uh, good enough. We're Audi. We're Audi 5,000. 200,000! Nice, nice cash. Nice cash. Oh yeah, okay, we've leveled up max. More durability, more item efficiency. Ooh. Or weight limit. Hot Jones. Yeah, give me that. Uh, okay, level 10. Engine upgrade. Uh, more fuel, more speed. I'll take that. More fuel efficiency. I'm out of cash. Rubbish. But, what I'm going to do... Buy some missiles. Buy some repairs. Buy some fuels. We're all stocked up. That is a good note to end this episode on. So, thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. Another episode of Underminers in the books. And I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.